Hi everyone, I'm Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike, a weekly show where I answer questions sent in by viewers and listeners. Here we go. Mike, I love this question. Mike, to tell you the truth, I prefer to get even when someone wrongs me or tries to take advantage of me. I enjoy it more, it's more fun, and I get a greater sense of satisfaction by getting back at them. And yet, unfortunately, I realize that it's not the healthiest way to be. What do you suggest for letting go of the anger and resentment I feel when I get screwed over by somebody? <laughs> well, you obviously have a good sense of humor. I think, I think a sense of humor helps with that. Um, you know, I don't know who said it. Somebody said holding on to anger is like drinking poison and hoping the other person dies. I don't really have an issue if you get a little bent at people from time to time, but the holding on to it thing is a little is obviously toxic, doesn't really work. So here's a couple of suggestions. First of all, uh, schedule a limited amount of time to be mad. So you can say, I'm going to be mad for the next 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 5 minutes and then it's over with. Second thing, analyze, which is the hardest thing to do, your participation in the thing that created this injustice in your life. And then thirdly, uh, work to diligently look and ask yourself, how do I stay out of situations like this um, in the future? If you spend a lot of energy trying to get back at people or trying to get even with people, that's just life wasted away. Now, I'm not going to sit here like some uh, poly pure heart and tell you that there haven't been times in my life where I've thought a little revenge would feel pretty good right now. Although the few times in my life where I've really tried that, it hasn't really worked out too well for me because it leaves me feeling sick and headachy and it's just not worth it. So, Give yourself a limited time to be angry, but don't avoid the anger. Just give yourself a little bit of limited time. Ask yourself how you can avoid situations like that in the future. And then secondly, how is it that you get involved in situations like that? The final thing I want you to think about is how rigid your rules are. Because if you have a lot of rules in your life for the way the world has to work and people has to work, you're going to be mad a lot. Open those doors a little bit. Keep things a little more flexible. You'll be less angry in general. Till next week, I'm Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike. Take care.